What's going on everybody? I just wanted to do a quick review on the Clutch Masters FX700 series. I think it's a 725. You know, before I made this purchase, I tried to do a lot of uh, research online to see the longevity, the drivability, and you know, drivability is all depends on the person, right? <clears throat> Some people think I, um, you know, a puck clutch is unbearable or a, um, you know, stage three clutch is unbearable. So it really depends on the individual. So, you know, after doing my, a lot of research, I was like, F it, man, I'm going to have to just suck it up because my whole main, my, my main goal is to have a lot of horsepower and I needed a clutch to hold it. And I've used Clutch Master all my life. I mean, I've used other um, clutch companies, ACT, Competition Clutch, Spec Clutch. And, um, you know, they've been all right, but it seemed like, Clutch Masters, to me, the quality and the drivability uh, of their clutches have been um, always beyond my expectations. So they've um, they've kept me continuing to come back as a customer. And um, just a little history, you know, I have a 9th Gen Supercharged SI and I've used their FX300, uh, FX400, which is a puck clutch, sprung, and now the 7 Series Twin Disc Clutch. And when I first first got into the 7 Series, man, the twin disc, I was like, I can't do this. I mean, there's a video somewhere, I think of Mark Racy on his IG, he posted something. He's like, I even said, man, this is hard, man. I can't do it. I mean, the clutch pedal was hard, bro. Like I was like, first thing, cause I, I don't say I daily drive it, but during the summer and nice weather, I'm going to drive my car. It's not a garage queen. So I was just thinking that I was like, oh my God, stop and go traffic, you know, just regular no more driving. I'm not going to be liking this at all. And plus I already have left knee problems. I messed it up playing basketball years back and I never got it fixed. So I was just like, man, I can't do this. So, you know, knowing me, I was just like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to build my legs. You know, it's going to force me to work out my legs more. So I was just like, all right, I'm just going to suck it up, do it. And so about a thousand miles later, um, thousand miles plus, the clutch pedal got a lot easier. Uh, either I got used to it or it just got easier to press down. So as of right now, you know, still in stop and go traffic, it's annoying because it is still harder than OEM feel or ver even versus the uh, FX 400 and 300, but it's nothing unbearable. And granted, guys, I have knee left knee problems and my left knee problems is um, bad enough where I can't walk upstairs anymore. My left knee will give out. So there was one instance before the thousand miles, man. I was just like in stop and go. And I was like, I was riding with my dad. I was like, dad, I can't drive no more. I'm gonna have to pull over. It really f messed up my, my leg, man. I couldn't do it. But like I said, after the thousand mile mark, it got looser and it's, it's, it's bearable. Now, even when I was complaining about the clutch pedal feel, this thing, it it grabs really well. I love the engagement. I mean, when I'm shifting into gears, it's an immediate boom. It it, it grabs. There's no like, the FX 400 and 300 didn't lag it either. It, it gripped, but this was something different. This was like a on and off, like boom, it's engaged. You know it's in gear. You know it's good to go. And it's just a different feel, man. It's, it's hard to explain. It's just, it's smoother. It goes in there and it just engages. And that's what I really loved about the clutch. And that was another reason why, you know, instead of getting used to it, that was another reason why I was just like, yo, I don't want to give this up. You know, the engagement is so great and I love it. So, you know, now that the pedal feels better and the engagement is still there, I love this clutch, man. You know, I'm, I'm to a point where like, I'm not even going to a single face clutch or whatever, single disc clutch. I'm going to stick with the twin disc. So, you know, I had the car for about, I say within 5,000 miles now with the clutch. And like I said, I, clutch is bearable now. I love the clutch. And um, yeah, so that's basically my review. You know, um, I know a lot of people probably can't handle it, but you know, when, when, you, when you have a connection with your car, you'll make it work, man. Either you're gonna improve yourself like I said, I was going to work on my legs a little harder to get used to it. Or you just say, F it. I'm just going to get used to it. So, you know, yeah. But um, great clutch. FX725 twin disc clutch. Fucking awesome clutch. I highly recommend it. And um, if you don't want to deal with the hard pedal feel, maybe try to get the FX500. I know my boy, uh, he has a turboed um, 9th gen. I believe he has the FX500. And... 
you know, he says the engagement's smooth. Um, he likes it. Feels, you know, slightly stiffer than the uh, OEM, but the um, the clutch pedal isn't that hard. So that's my review for the FX725 twin disc. I hope it's called a 725. This whole video I've been saying 725. But I'll keep you guys informed, updated as I push more power. Um, like I said, I'm only at 463 right now and, and 360 wheel torque. So hopefully within the next month or two, I'll be well within the um, 500 to mid 500 range. So um, yeah, guys. So till next time.